Once upon a time, in a village known as Acorn Valley, a society of mysterious southern people live in such beautiful land. Not many know where these people are. Some say they were villagers in the state of Oklahoma. So very beautiful. The village is home to everything and everyone. Such as gays. Come on here, lick my ass. People who have better English but worse than the southern. Um, I like peanut butter. That's not peanut butter. What? Gender fluid. And of course, home of the Red Raptor. And although the area was beautiful, comfortable, and very large, there was something lurking. And although there were dangerous animals in the area, something unknown, something nobody could understand, but only to lock the doors at night, keep watch of what it could be. Due to their mysterious language, we are going to dub over what we can. This film will document the events of what happened in that village. It all started when an old woman could not find her grandbaby. Where's my grandbaby? Oh, baby. Where's my grandson? Oh, baby. Baby, baby. baby. Where's, where's my baby? baby? Where's my baby? Where's my baby? I found him. Please, What's going on? What? What are you doing? I don't know where my grandbaby is. The boy. My boy? Where's my boy? Oh, oh god damn it. Oh, where's my boy? My boy. Where's my boy? Where's my boy? Where's the boy? Throughout all of Acorn Valley, there were all sorts of human figures. Even a local hunter that went out searching for certain things to feast on for the entire village. Fuck.
shit in my mouth. <laughs> This right here is for the dango tail of the shitty weed drop. Dumb no man, Wesley Rice. I'm just talking poop stick. This is the dango way. Damn, I'm gonna go hunt me some voodoo poop witch drop. Now, I'm free. Open down here. And where the creature resides. Many years later, all 37 years, a village hunter is sent out from Acorn Valley to find the old man who looked face to face to the creature who took his boy. something in them waters and this damn thing took them down till the bone was sucked dry from his skin when only a few months later I woken up to a thump outside a creepy fucking chicken noise and I went to investigate thinking something up over I didn't know what it was, but I was terrified looking for what it could have been. I grabbed a few rocks. And I started throwing it at whatever it was. What? What a noise! Where he been? What it could have been. 
could have been as it ran past me. I had no idea what it could have been. All I knew was it probably killed my son, my boy, standing there terrified of what it could have been. It jumps out and freaks me the fuck out, and I start running, terrified, screaming for my life. Fuck my ass. Till one day I was told there was a voodoo stick doctor I could find. And I went out to adventure on where to find me. To poop rack. It's hot out here. Oh, oh, damn. Are you the magic voodoo poop doctor? <laughs> yes, I am the get. I am the magic voodoo stick doctor. Tell me. Where my boy? Where my boy? Where can I find my boy? You got a big nose. Where my boy, Mr. Pooh? Where's my boy? I don't even know. All I know is how to make super cool and dirty and oh. healthy. What the fuck do you want, old man? Who did this to my boy? Who did to my boy? I don't even know. Probably some super gay fucking crap. Oh. You know where my boy? He's probably, like I said, it's probably some fucking weird creature butt fuck no, dog in the water yeah. killed him. Ah. Okay, yeah, whatever, go fucking kill him. Do whatever the fuck you want with him. I want to have an herbs and medications, okay? Fuck off. You're gonna be overdramatic, you fat fucking bastard. Okay, whatever, get the Thank fuck you. off. Okay, yeah, whatever. Get, okay, yeah, shake my hand, whatever. I give a fuck. Get the fuck out of my woods, you fat fucking oh, hoodie bitch. Get the oh, fuck oh, out of oh, here. Oh, 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 we had to kill the creature. And I forgot. Damn boy, you smell like shit, but you came here to ask if you can kill that creature down there. The boy! Thirty damn names, the boy! I'm gonna kill the damn son of a dark creature! And so the old man went out to do Anything he can to take down this horrendous creature with his fellow psychic village hunter. Yeah, we got cameras all over this damn place. We're gonna kill that son of a bitch. I'm gonna fist him. Grab that thing. We're gonna fuck it in the ass. By the way, that gay voodoo stick doctor was a total fucking asshole. So the old man and village hunter went out to kick it in the rump. I'm so old. Yeah, damn. Hold that nose. Oh, dang, oh no. Barbecue on. Or swine thing. We're here! You're there! Give me that goddamn. Ugh. Oh, you son of a damn damn goddamn! You ain't give me that damn damn! of anything anymore.
looks like the old man's faithful companion has died a horrible idol death. But that won't stop him from continuing his journey to avenge his boy. So the old man looks and finds different things and ways to kill the creature. And because this movie is put in a fantasy setting, anything is possible with your imagination and an old man in a cell phone. The old man now knows plenty enough about the creature, so he creates a trap through the creature's path to kill him once and for all. Later that weekend, for all of what the old man has done for Acorn Valley Village. He cut the creature's head off and put it inside of a KFC bucket. That's right, my name is Colonel Sanders, and I narrated this movie.